Welcome everyone to this uh, exercise number 5C from the book ArcGIS, or getting to know ArcGIS. And in this exercise I would like to show you how to create layer files and also change uh, feature or shape file representation in your documents uh, you would like to create. Therefore um, I would like you to open the exercise number 5C as an example maybe and what we, were, what we are having here is um, we have a data frame called wildlife which uh, now only contains the shapefile countries and we would like to add another shapefile for that so please make sure that this one is activated it is already you can see the activation status here and uh, with this little box uh, with this dotted line and also in the current data f data view uh, so what we will do now we will add a new layer which is called animals and this is a shape form so just click on that uh, the color which is or the, the the dot color of this feature um, is chosen randomly so it um, can yeah, be a little dif different to yours. So just right click on it, and uh, just maybe right click on animals, and just change the. Um, now we'll go a little bit, a step back. So there, uh, this shape file will give you an information about the about. Um, about significant population of elephants, giraffes, and zebras in the area around the shape, uh, around the point. So y here you have your shape, which is point, of course, and the animal name. So it, there are differences in that, and so this could serve as a category for your shape for our representation. So just get, click on categories. We have unique values, and we will use the value field animal name. We'll add all values and uncheck all other values once more. Now, each point has a different color depending on the status of the animal name. But what we will do now is we will just create or we would like to get a representation of an elephant and a giraffe and a zebra on these points. So, just um, double click maybe on the spot of elephant and you have something like style references. This means that you can change the possible representations here um, to get a bigger list. So if you are unchecking or if you are checking everyone, uh, every, every entry here, you will increase the number of possible representation of your shapes. But what we will do, we will just uncheck these and go to um, conservation click OK and what we are having here now is uh, a representation for oh well I don't know maybe you can use them in national parks or something like that and we will search for a symbol called elephant well there it is We'll just say elephant is right in our case. Click on OK. So now each point which has a name elephant will be represented by an elephant. We will also change the color. We will not say this should be represented in black, but we will use something like a, a bluish tone in the example in the book. So we'll say create yeah, create in blue blue again. Let's do the same for giraffe. Just search for giraffe. It doesn't depend if you're going on all styles or just the reference styles you have chosen here. Um, well, the option reference styles to search only in them uh, will make the search a little bit easier and faster. So there are the giraffes. And what comes next? Oh, well, change the color as well to maybe this one here. Let's go to Zebra and I think this can stay in black. There are the Zebras. So that's it for the moment. 
let's go back to the layout view and there we have it we can zoom in using the zoom in function on the working area there we are these are the current symbols there what we will do now is we will save the layer file for that so just right click on the on the shapefile animals save lay, uh, as layer file we will choose uh, the same folder now in the moment for the exercise so we are in the exercise number five go to my data and say this is the layer for animals if you would like to um, distribute your layer file please make sure that you will also send the shape file because they are both connected to each other so let's make an example you will open a new document no thanks and you would like to add this layer file now it's possible because he knows where uh, where the shape file is or he has a representation of that you can right click on that go on properties and source so the shape file is given here so please make sure that you will or that you are zipping maybe the whole package layer file and also the shape file beyond that information thank you very much for watching